lady. Okay, that's... Let me back that up. Hey everybody, Steve here from The Very Life, and today we have a box from Amazon. So for those people who don't know, I live in Korea, and getting stuff from Amazon takes a little bit of time. So we're going to talk about that and do an unboxing to see what's inside the box and see what's inside the box. So let's get started. So with a lot of stuff in Korea, if you order from Amazon, uh, you will still get the box inside the box. But the time in which it takes to get said items from Amazon to Korea, the shortest amount of time that I've got something from Amazon delivered to my front door was 10 days and the longest was three weeks almost. But generally what we end up seeing is two weeks. Excuse me? Uh, two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. <laughs> so what we end up getting here is a 3D printer enclosure. I wanted to get an enclosure kit with ventilation to offset the fumes when I start printing with normal uh, resin printing, which has a little bit more smell and has some more VOCs, so we got this enclosure. And inside is we have all this stuff. It's paperwork, read that before installing, and getting a 180 day warranty card, which is good to know which has an active exhaust fan uh, with a USB hookup, which is going to be good because I can just plug that in. And that is a, was a 5 volt, 0.45 amp DC brushless computer fan motor. The fan guard, the fan guard. And then we've got another little thing there, another guard, and then it looks like we have some kind of Kind of a cheap carbon fiber filter type of thing and then we have the bolts and nuts and whatever an adapter we have a bunch of corner pieces it looks like there's going to be some rods that will make up the frame of the enclosure and then we have our our flexible tubing vent type stuff and we've got some more connectors. And then we have our first set. It's almost like a tent pole. That's exactly what that feels like. So we got our number of those. We have number one, the set of number twos, and then we have the number threes. And then the last thing we end up having is the case itself, and it has enclosure instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and do a time lapse on this and put this thing together and see how it goes. online show how to put the fan assembly together which doesn't really make sense especially with the air filter because you're venting this all outside anyway there is no requirement for a filter the other thing I noticed is that when everything is put together and they end up putting the adapter and they push that through the wall basically what you're doing is you're gonna have gaps in between and you're relying on the vent tube and its weight to seal that to the enclosure. So what they end up showing here, and the red line indicates the wall of the enclosure. The problems with this is you will have gaps on the four sides which will let VOCs into the room that you want vented out. The other thing that we end up seeing are these screws here and the nuts that will go on there will be the only thing that will be securing it so again you're going to have some gaps and that's not what we want so we can have the assembly of seven eight nine and ten and then we'll have the enclosure and then we put on the flange so that we get a good secure seal between the fan the fabric and the outside adapter so yeah, and we get a lot better airflow. When I did the test, putting and turning on that five volt fan, uh, you didn't get much airflow when I took this out and installed it the way we have here. We definitely have a lot more airflow, which is great. 
Good stuff. Okay. Take seven. Alrighty, so what we ended up doing today was getting our UPI 3D printer enclosure. Now this is kind of nice. Uh, it will fit FDM printers or resin printers, and we're going to be using it on my Saturn III Ultra, which is currently printing right now. I've got another nine hours before we can install this. But I want to go over some of the things. Yeah, the instructions could have been written a little bit better, but we are able to figure it out. The enclosure itself is a flame retardant material. We also have the material on the door itself that is UV rated. So if you're doing resin printing, that's a bonus because you don't want to harden the resin through UV light coming in. I also like the fact that you can throw this back and have access to the printing area. Uh, one of the things I didn't like was the ventilation system and how they wanted that to go together is the fact that it significantly reduced the airflow that we got with the ventilation system. We would have the metal cover that would protect the fan, then we would have the fan itself, then we'd have the other protective plastic cover for the fan, and then that would be on the inside. And then on the outside, we actually had the ventilation hose adapter, and that would sandwich in, and then we put some washers in there, and then we tighten down with the nuts. The other way, by following the directions included with this enclosure, would result in a loss of not only airflow, but you would also get air leaks along the four sides of the connector as, it, as you're supposed to push it through and then put the screws. So in other words, you're letting VOCs leak into the air, and that's not a good thing. So with this way, in the order that I did it, you get a much better seal, you get better airflow, and I think that makes for a better overall product. So if you do buy this or a similar enclosure, make sure that you look at the order in which they do it and test out to see if you have any leaks in the ventilation system. And if you do, you might want to go back and put it in the order that I did on this one. So anyway, hey, that's going to be it. We're going to have to wait about nine or 10 hours to finish a print before we can install this and vent those harmful VOCs out of my hobby room. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to see what happens next and see how well this works. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with us. The Buried Life is where we retired in Korea. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.